it's cold outside and we have to warm up our fingers before we can start to play the guitar. But do we really want to play these endless chromatical exercises all over the fretboard? Does it really make sense? In my career as a guitarist, I've played a lot of shows with other musicians, um, drummers, bassists, saxophonists, trumpeters, uh, violinists, cellists, uh, and I never saw someone wa warm up uh, with chromatical exercises. So the question is, why are we so obsessed about these chromatical exercises as guitarists? And is there not another better musical way uh, to warm up? Um, yes, of course, it's totally simple. <laughs> and I want to show you, uh, I have put together a 10 minute um, warm up workout for you. And uh, my name is Matthias and this is five minutes Friday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, guys, let's start uh, our workout in a more musical way. <laughs> and it's uh, totally simple. Uh, we just play scales, but we don't play the scales uh, all over the fretboard. We play it in uh, more little chunks, so to say. Yeah. So uh, I show it because uh, it's much easier. We start in the third fret uh, on a G and play a G major scale. And then from A and back. You know it, okay? So, and this uh, we um, repeat every fret higher. So we start in G. fourth uh, till you uh, come to the end of the fretboard yeah first round the second round uh, starts on the ace string in the third fret on a C and we play again a C major scale Repeat it one fret higher. fretboard <laughs> and uh, the third round uh, starts on the D string third fret is an F and again a major scale So this was the first part of our workout routine and in the second part uh, we play um, the most important arpeggios you need to know and you need to practice. So there is uh, the major 7 arpeggio, the dominant 7 arpeggio and uh, the minor 7 arpeggio and last but not least um, the minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio. So you have the most important arpeggios in your workout routine. So we start with an um, G major 7 arpeggio. 
it goes like this <laughs> and it goes like this and again repeat it one fret higher The second arpeggio is uh, the dominant 7 arpeggio in G. Yes, and of course, repeat it one fret higher. minor 7 arpeggio in G Last one um, is the minor 7 B flat arpeggio. Starts with G. Yes, and then. Okay guys, this was it from me for today. I hope you find something useful for your warm-up routine. Try to make it musical. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, you find the tops below the video, click the link to the Dropbox. And um, uh, I hope we see you in the next one. Uh, see you, bye. <laughs> was it fun?